Hello everyone, welcome to Optimal Training Group. In this video, we're going to be doing something different. In our previous videos, we've been talking a lot about SharePoint. We are currently in the Office 365, and as you already know, Office 365 is a suite of apps. And one of the apps we've been working on has been SharePoint. Today, I'm going to introduce you to a new app. And this app is called Microsoft Forms. So no matter where you are in Office 365, even if you're in SharePoint or whatever other app you're in, in the top left hand corner, there's always this app launcher. If you click on the app launcher, you see this panel opens up on the left hand side and look for forms. And if you don't see forms in this section here, just click on all apps and scroll down until you see forms and then click on it. And this is where all your forms that you create will be held. Now, Microsoft Forms is an information gathering tool. So you can have surveys and also quizzes. So you can have all types of surveys for your company and be able to gather information that, that's needed. So let's go ahead and get started on how to create forms. So, when you come to this Microsoft Forms interface here, if you click here first, it just shows you a quiz. So you can either have a quiz or a survey, but I'm gonna click on new form. And when you click on new form, it brings up this page that allows you to start adding your different types of questions. And this is the survey form. You have two tabs, a questions tab, and a responses tab and then it will give you a little bit of metrics and an excel spreadsheet where you can add your data to the responses to you also have a preview you can preview to see what your form looks like and we're going to go over that you also have the computer but you also have the, the mobile ver to see what it would look like at mobile and in the computer let me go back and then you have a theme so you can select the theme from here and as you see the colors change have a little bit of fun with it and then we have share so once your survey is done you can share it to other people in your organization and then this has a few other things as well so let's but let's go ahead and get started so i am going to go i'm going to create a form now this is the heading this is what your form is called and I'm going to create a form and I'm going to call it, um, let's call it optimal training group survey. And you can enter in the descriptions. I'm just going to training survey by optimal. Okay. I'm sure you can come up with a better title than that. And now, in order for me to start creating my questions, I click on add new. And if you let me let me back up a little bit. If you're wondering what this image here, this icon is, this is if you wanted to insert an image. So you can insert an image. Let me insert one so you can just see what it looks like. Or let me actually let me upload one. So you can go to Bing insert insert one, but I have a few images here. Um, let's just, let's add this just, just for the fun of it. So add that. And that's a pretty big image. So, oh, there you go. So, and that's what it looks like. So let's go ahead and start adding questions. So if you click on the new add button, you have these different types of, um, elements that you can add to your form. So you have choice text rating date is a few more ranking likert file upload net promoter score and section and we're going to go each through each one of these in a series of videos we can't do it all in this video i don't want it to be too long and the first one we're going to add is let's see let's add text now text just allows you to get some type of text from the user and our question is going to be what would you 
like to learn? And then they can come back with an answer, enter your answer here. If you wanted this to be a long answer, you click on long answer here. If you want it to be a required field, you click on required, you make it required. And there are a few more choices here. We're not gonna worry about this yet. Um, that's if you wanted to add a, sub a subtitle, maybe explaining more about the question. So we're, not, we're gonna remove that and use that later. And so I'm gonna come up here to the top and I'm gonna click on preview so we can see what our form looks like before it goes into production. So this is it. If I try to submit, you see, because that field is required, it won't let me submit. So let me enter in something here. Everything, I love to learn. submit thanks for your response now I can go back and as you can see right here in this second tab the response is there and it gives you a little bit some 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 metrics here it says you know what the response was the average time how many I'm sorry how many responses there were the average time to complete and if it's still active and then you can if you click on here, you can see what the results were, and that's the result. So if, if you had plenty of different um, ant responses, you know, you, you, you'd all, it'll all show up here, and you can also export it into Excel. Uh, you can print a summary or create a summary link, or delete the responses. So in the next video, we're going to go over um, some of the other fields. Thanks for watching. I hope this made sense. Bye.